प्रिजो मी ओ गॉड फॉर इन यू आई टेक रेफ्यूज आई से टू द लॉर्ड यू आर माई लॉर्ड आई हैव नो गुड अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू गुड मॉर्निंग आई वेलकम यू फॉर दिस मॉर्निंग सर्विस टूडे इज द ट्वेंटियथ संडे आफ्टर ट्वेंटी कॉस्ट एंड द थर्ड वीक ऑफ दिस मंथ let us pray the collective prayers almighty and everlasting god you are always more ready to hear that we pray and give more than we either desire or deserve pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy forgive us those things of which are unconscious is afraid and giving us give us those good things which we are not worthy to ask except through the merits and the meditation of jesus christ your son our lord who lives and reigns with you and holy spirit one god now and forever amen let us read the summary of the law the summary of the law our lord jesus christ said here o israel the lord our god is one lord and thou shall love thy lord god with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength this is the first commandment and the second is like namely this thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself there is no other commandment greater than these on these two commandment hang all the law and the prophet lord have mercy on us and write these thy law in our heart we beseech thee let us sing a hymn the today's hymn is amazing grace let us all together sing this hymn amazing grace Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Was grace that taught my heart to fear. and grace my fear relieve how precious did that grace appear the far my first believe the many dangers all senses i have already come this has brought me safe the sun and grace will lead me home the lord has promised good to me his words my hope to secure he will my shield and portion be as long as life and dure when we have been down for a year by shining as the sun we have no less to sing god praise than when we first began
let us read the today's scripture portion which is taken from gospel according to matthew chapter 20 verses 1 to 16 gospel according to matthew chapter 20 verses 1 to 16 for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard after agreeing with the laborers for a dinner a day he sent them into his vineyard and going out about the third hour he saw others standing idle in the marketplace and to them he said you go into the vineyard too and whatever is right i will give you so they went going again out in the sixth hour and the ninth hour he did the same and about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing he said to them why do you stand here idle all day they said to him because no one has hired us he said to them you go into the vineyard too and when evening came the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman call the laborers and pay them their wages begin with the last up to the first and when those hired about the eleventh hour came each of them received a dinner now when those hired first came they thought they would receive more but each of them also received a dinner and on receiving it they grumbled at the master of the house saying these last worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and crunching heat but he replied to one of them friend i am doing you no wrong did you not agree with me for a dinner take what belongs to you and go am i not allowed to do what i choose with what belongs to me or do you budge my generosity so the last will be first and the first last here ends the reading of the gospel let us all say the nice and great let us all together say the nice and great the father almighty maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of his father before all world god of god light of light very god of very god begotten not made being of one substance with the father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated by the holy holy spirit of the virgin mary and was made man and was crucified for us under pointless plague he suffered and was buried and on third day he rose again according to the scriptures he ascended into heaven and seated on the right hand of the father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end i believe in holy spirit the lord the giver of the life who proceed from the father and the son whom with the father and the son together is worshiped and glorified who spark the prophet i believe in holy catholic and apostolic church i acknowledge one baptism for the resumption of the sin and i look for resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen our lord jesus christ intercede for us and given us this opportunity that we his children can intercede for one another so let us move into our intercessory prayers let us pray almighty god who hasn't taught us to make prayers 
supplications and intercessory for all men here when we pray that it may please thee to inspire continuously the universal church with the spirit of truth unity and concord hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to give grace to all bishop priest and deacon specially to thy servant moderator of church of north india the most right reverend dr p c singh and a bishop of kolapur assistant council right reverend andrew rathod and all the priest in charge of kolapur assistant council that by their life and doctrine they may set forth thy truth and life giving word and rightly and duly administer the holy sacrament hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to bless in their several callings all other thy servant who are laboring for the building up of thy church and the spread of thy gospel and grant that the whole world may be filled with the knowledge of thy truth hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to give thy heavenly grace to all thy people and specially to this congregation here present that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive the holy word truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to lead all the nations in the way of righteousness and peace and so to guide their rulers specially a uh, president the prime minister mr narendra modi the governor and the chief minister of this state and all in authority under them that thy people may be justly and quietly governed hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee through the heavenly benediction to save us from scarcity and famine that with thankful heart we may enjoy the fruit of earth in their season hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee of thy goodness o lord to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble sorrow needy sickness or any other diversity hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to grant that with all the faithful depart we may receive the unsearchable benefit of thy son's passion hear us we beseech thee that it may please thee to give us grace to follow the good example of thy saint that we with them may be partaker of thy heavenly kingdom hear us we beseech thee hasn't o father the coming of thy kingdom and grant that we all thy servant being quickened together in the eternal fellowship of thy holy spirit may with joy behold thy son and his coming again in glorious majesty even jesus christ our 
only mediator and advocate amen come lord jesus let us sing a hymn another hymn uh, the hymn is what a friend we have in jesus let us all together sing this hymn what a friend we have in jesus we have heard the today's scripture which is taken from gospel according to matthew chapter 20 verse 1 to 16 and before going into the scripture portion or the message let us pray lord we thank you for giving us this opportunity to come to thy feet in your holy presence lord as i speak lord let you help me guide me let you speak through me to your children and let they be blessed through your words let you speak to them lord through me in jesus name we pray amen the today's theme which i have drawn is for god gives us more than we deserve yes god gives us more than we deserve this story In Matthew chapter 20 verse 1 to 16 is a story of a vineyard owner and the laborers the laborers who agreed to work for a day wages later in the day the owner saw some more laborers standing and he asked them if they want a job and they agreed to it and again after some times the owner saw some more laborers and again he asked the same question if they want a job and they agreed it happened two to three times and at the end of the day the laborers were in line to receive their payment 
the owner foreman paid all the laborers the same wages as per the day work which they had been decided but those who came in the morning got angry and started to murmur and we see they said we deserve more pay for the week or the for the day because they were thinking that these people who came or joined at the last he is going to he has been equaling them so they demanded more but the owner responded here i had promised you to give whatever it is right because in the first only we see the owner had promised and the they had agreed to a day wages labor and so he said i had promised you and i have gave you the same and it is my right to do anything whatever he likes or uh, the owner likes with his money so they should not be jealous this story is not about a jealousy but a story about god's amazing gift yes god's amazing gift that is eternal life for those who follow him if we see in india at the time of leprosy those who were infected were sent out for their house from their villages and they were set apart the people would never touch them the people would never go there and those people lived were infected lived far away in from the villages they would live in the caves in the jungles and in those days my great grandfather who was one of the victim of leprosy and also got healed by the treatment of missionary doctors and the nurses and he decided to follow jesus by seeing the love care for others by these missionary people in this story my great grandfather is a laborer he came to new jesus at a certain age like the laborers who came in the afternoon or before the end time of the job where the others in the family knew jesus from the childhood are like the laborers who are working from morning so should we or especially i be jealous of my great grandfather that why he is in the heaven though he followed jesus for few years or can i say my great grandfather does not deserve to go to heaven for he has followed for few years of course not no human being deserves to go to heaven except or only jesus who is fully human being the son of man and by his grace gift we are able or we can or we deserve to go by his grace jesus on the cross said seven words the seven sayings and in that the first saying was forgive them because they do not know what they are 
doing and the second verse if we see a thief is repenting there that just remember me when you are in the heaven just remember and for that jesus said in luke chapter 23 verse 43 if we see he clearly says here i say unto you today thou shall be with me in paradise means it is the gift of jesus to us many times we struggle in our life we have having a question is his grace sufficient jesus is uh, grace is sufficient for me and through paul god speaks us today is in second corinthian chapter 12 verses 9 second corinthian chapter 12 verses 9 my grace is sufficient for you saint paul clearly says his grace is sufficient for us and if we or i specially believe in his grace then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace through that we may receive and find grace to help in the times of need hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 it clearly says then draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the times of need in the needy time we should get it so we should draw near to that grace to that throne but yet many of us struggle to understand the concept of god's grace just like the laborers the grace is the important precious gift by god to us through jesus christ and to receive this grace we need to do three things the firstly his word bible it is the gift of god especially the words of jesus christ as saint paul rightly points out and say in second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 it says like this as scripture is bred out by god and profitable for teaching for reproofing for correction and for training in righteousness that the man of god may be contempt equipped for every good work it is for us the man of god for means for us it is for us profitable it, for teaching pro, it is for us for reproofing uh, correction and training in righteousness and that's why the bible is necessary for christianity or christian life the second thing is receiving his spirit the holy spirit when we are baptized we become the follower of christ jesus christ we receive holy spirit the holy spirit which helps us in several ways it strengthens us in our anxiousness it helps us to understand the words as the teacher and also helps us to convict our sinful behavior the holy spirit helps us in many ways and that's why it is an important thing the thirdly is prayer saint paul beautifully says about the prayer in first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 pray without ceasing pray without ceasing means pray until end 
or until completion it is not for the individual it is for whole community in gospel of john chapter 17 we see jesus is praying that is also called the priestly prayer before he was arrested he prayed whole jesus life was a prayerful life but here in chapter 17 it is a priestly prayer and also known as an intercessory prayer he prayed for everyone and this intercessory prayer has been given as a gift for us these are the amazing gifts grace given to us by god even though we do not deserve it at all he demanded us or he made us a conqueror in our life by his amazing gifts of grace he supply all our needs in every situation though we were undeserving we did not deserve it he supplies our needs today i hope and i pray to god of amazing grace to help us to strengthen all of us to be blessed in his grace amen let us pray awesome god heavenly father we thank you we praise you we worship you lord we adore you for your amazing grace to us lord we do not deserve to come to you alone but your son made us able through his blood we can purify ourselves and come to you more closer lord so today in his precious blood and precious name we ask and we pray to you lord help us oh lord and guide us especially lord we pray for the epidemic which is causing in our state in our country in our world oh lord yes lord let you our son and you strengthen your hand towards us oh let our lord jesus guide be with us oh lord in this epidemic let lord you strengthen your healing touch to us oh lord and heal us completely because through your healing touch oh lord through your touch every sin every disease is disappear so we, i ask to you let you take control of our world our country our state special lord we pray for the doctors the nurses all the paramedical forces lord day and night they are working lord and i pray to you that let you help them all especially lord we pray for their families let you bless their families too lord. especially lord we pray for those who are in search of the covid 19 uh, remedies oh lord especially all the countries who are eager to find out the medicine for it help them a lot especially the scientists the doctors help them guide them give them the knowledge wisdom and the power so that through them through this knowledge and wisdom given by you they can find out the appropriate medicine and through it we all can be blessed and healed over this thing especially lord we pray and submit those who have lost their lives we pray for their family bless them to all they have lost that dear one in this epidemic lord we pray that let you counsel them let you bless them let you help them and take care of them especially lord we pray and submit our whole congregation in your mighty 
Let your healing touch be upon them. Let your healing hand be upon them and their family well and help them to glorify your name. Supply with your needs to them, O Lord, and remove all the hindrances of their life. Especially, Lord, we pray for the situation of war which is in our world. Lord, let you speak to the elders, the leaders of our country. Help them and guide them to make a certain decision of decision of peace in in and around country Lord. Yes. Let you take control of our country too. Especially Lord. We pray and submit ourselves in your mighty hand. Because you have given us this opportunity, this day to us so that we can hear your message. Yes, thank you. Today Lord, I pray that let you bless us and guide us and help us to glorify you. Yes, thank you. Lord, we submit ourselves in your mighty hand. Let you take control of us and be with us. Especially Lord, those who are celebrating their birthdays today and in upcoming week or not. Lord, let you grant them knowledge, wisdom and the power. Let your healing hand be upon them Lord, and bless them and help them to glorify you in upcoming days too. Lord, we submit ourselves and our today's prayer in your mighty hand and ask this prayer in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us all stand up and say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in the heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide on all those who are here and on their family now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.